Hey guys, it's Yaz, and today you are catching me before I even start my day. Reason being that I am going to do a life update in the process of getting ready for just my everyday college life. It's, it's been a minute. It's been, we're not going to talk about that. I have not just ditched YouTube. I don't use a ring light every day. I use the sun the hot New Orleans sun. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna start off with my brows. Basically, the reason, the main reason I would blame my absence of YouTube for it is um, running for class president. Listen, when I tell you that I was past the point of exhaustion. Oh, I guess you're telling me I'm using Anastasia Brow Pomade. And, oh, sorry about like, hmm, I guess that isn't the best lighting, but whatever. Basically, I was like about to jump off a bridge at some point during that campaign because like the disorganization was completely, completely disrespectful. Like, guys know me then you know that like I need my life together like if if one thing in my life is not together then really I can just count everything else out of the process of being together because like it won't happen and so when one thing would go wrong in the campaign like the rest of my life would just fall into shambles and this happened like every single day for like two weeks because we ended up having a runoff and so I had to run like actually campaign for an extra week um but that last week i was exhausted and i did not campaign really i did no physical campaigning i did social media and that was the best decision i've ever made in my life um if you guys want me to talk a little bit more about class president stuff let me know i really love like being the face of such an amazing class like my class is biggest one since Katrina we have all these like different milestones that we're already reaching and I'm just really thankful that like all these people voted for me and they didn't even really know me I mean we started these elections like really soon after we got here and I just feel really thankful that people like put their trust in me so early on and I'm not gonna let them down um yeah just let me know if you guys want to know any more about that because I'm not gonna make the whole video just about that um other stuff that I've been doing is like studying every single day. That's all I really do. I go to Xavier in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I am a biology pre-med major. And it is completely ridiculous the amount of work that we have to do. It's completely disrespectful. My only motivation is wanting to be a dermatologist, like, really freaking bad. And I have to think about that probably a hundred times a day, or else, like, you literally can't get through the work. We're known for our pre-med program, sending, or creating, I guess, the most African-American doctors in the nation. That's my school. In the process, like, there's a reason that they have these statistics, is all I'm going to say. Got me my beauty blender. You already know. So, done with my brows, that was really it. Yeah, I don't really do a lot, I just kinda let people know that they're there. In the process, once again, of running for president and trying not to fail out of Xavier, I have been vaguely getting out of my comfort zone. Like, I really have been doing my best to not be the same as me, like at home everyone is really the same and i've started to notice that i've been reflecting more and more on it um the kind of uniformity that i came from was really 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 comfortable and i'm working on being less comfortable one of the reasons why i wanted to come to nhc to begin with i just felt like there was more for me in the world than carmel indiana and it turns out there was there's plenty out here in this giant earth. I have not had all good experiences, I will not lie. I have had some truly crazy experiences that had me like... 
Huh. Like, why am I even here? How did I get here? What kind of decision? Like, who told me this would be a good decision? I mean, like, blaming myself for just general unhappiness. At the end of the day, you just gotta look and be like, do you wanna be a doctor or not? And like, I don't know, this is blended. And like, um, Xavier's gonna get me there. So, yeah, you just have to remind yourself of your purpose. There were lots of things that I came in intending to do, and then with the president thing in particular, it just all went down the drain. Like, I honestly, guys, do you wanna know what I do in my life? I study most of my waking hours. Oh, also, the reason why I'm putting on so much concealer is because I did not sleep. I have not slept. Um, well, let me just give you a little backstory on my day yesterday. I'm going out of town on Saturday morning. I'm going to Atlanta. I um, had to just like finish up a lot of stuff here, but finishing up that stuff took the life out of me. I ended up passing out for three hours at seven o'clock. I woke up at about 10. I had a bio, I have five quizzes tomorrow. So I got up, went to the library, learned everything that I need to know because cramming is like my least favorite thing in the whole world. I came back and I was gonna do like stats, like I got ready for bed and then I was gonna do stats. And for some reason, like, I just, I did stats until like an hour ago. Like, I remember looking at the clock at like four and being like, okay, I'm gonna go to sleep now. I literally closed my computer, did everything I need to do to go to sleep and then I never went to sleep. I stared at the ceiling. And here we are now. Next thing I know, it was 7 a.m. I got up, washed my clothes so I can take them. Yeah, I just, I don't know what's going on. Um, I really wish that I had like a caffeine IV. That would be really nice. That obviously increases my chances of crashing again later tonight, which is never good for anyone. Oh yeah, I don't do foundation down here also because this humidity is completely ridiculous. Like, the oxygen is physically wet, so hey, Yasmin does not wear foundation. Um, so yeah, I didn't go to sleep last night, and today I had a really good day. I have to go. My sister Lindsay is going to teach me stats just so that like I don't fall behind because if you try to learn it right before the test, you're screwed. You've already screwed yourself. Guys, I think I have ADHD. I honestly, I'm sorry, I can't stay on task, but you guys are used to that by now. So how do I like college? Well, I give it like a three out of 10. Um, I do not recommend it for literally anyone. I'm here because I can't get to med school without being here, so. But Lord knows. These eye bags are Prada. I'm here for two months. You guys deserve a room tour. I actually filmed a room tour and I hated it. So you haven't seen it yet because I'm gonna refilm one actually. I wonder if I'm gonna do my edges today. I'm gonna do mascara. I was in Chicago for the Beyonce concert and I left my favorite mascara and my favorite lashes there, like in the hotel bathroom. So. They were unopened lashes too, like, whoever cleaned up that bathroom got, <laughs> they hit the jackpot, and I'm upset. $50,000 on my head is disrespect. Honestly, for whoever's watching this right now, whoever made it this far in my mind, like, I'm sorry. Lashes are so important, you know, they just make you feel like you have superpowers. Freshman 15, yeah. I just maintained the exact lifestyle that I had been living for over a decade of my life, if that makes sense. When I got to college, I did not start eating differently. I did not start working out differently. Like, I still run till I just can't breathe. Why come to college and like try to reinvent it? So I still do mostly running. Um, I go to our actual gym, there's a track, it's so nice. I just go to the gym, I run like two miles 
every probably like three times a week minimum and yes i die because i've never been a long distance runner um i just got some in my mouth but anyway um i just do what i have to do because i love being skinny bottom line eating just like i did at home we have a great salad bar i eat 95 percent salads that's like 95 percent of my diet i add grilled chicken on occasion new orleans has bomb food but like i said i don't leave campus that often because i'm busy like busy busy but until then it's all salads and grilled chicken let's, let's see here let's see what we're working with here Edges are a wreck. They're a wreck. My hair has grown so much. Um, like where the brown starts. Yeah, and I just I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm gonna get it retouched when I go to. I'm not going home till Christmas. Becoming independent has been completely imperative in like my survival. New Orleans is not like home. Xavier is not like home. But it's like I love it at the same time. It's very confusing. I'm taking six science classes. I'm taking three chem and three bio. So it's bio lab foundations and lecture. And then chem lab lecture and drill, which is like quiz class basically. We have multiple quizzes every week. Um, the reason I'm like this is obviously just because I just woke up. You guys saw the whole process. Um, but thank you for like, if you watched this far, honestly, I would give you a trophy. If I could, I would hand you a trophy. I realized that I'm wearing my Starboy shirt. You guys actually probably can't see it, but yeah, I wore it in the last video. It's pretty funny. Anyway, once again, if you forgot from the beginning, my name is Yaz, and I'm officially a college student. Thanks for watching. Bye.